hey guys welcome back to my channel today i have a strength workout for you inside the gym i'm also gonna throw in some rowing to make sure that your heart stays elevated i'll see you in the gym we are starting with a five minute rowing warm up to get your blood pumping and your muscles primed for the action remember to keep your core tight and your back straight and don't forget to breathe now it's time for barbell bench press so target your chest and tricep lie on a bench with your feet flat on the ground and lift the barbell up and towards your chest Now it's time to move into squats. Grab a dumbbell and get ready to work those glutes and quads. If you're lucky enough to have a Smith machine, that will be even better. You'll be protecting your lower back if you have injury. Remember to keep your feet shoulders width apart and lower your hips until your thighs are parallel to the ground. I also forgot to mention that I've been bulking for almost an entire month, which means that I've been um, intentionally increasing my calorie in order to gain muscle mass. However, now I'm in a point that I am ready to get back to cutting, which means that I am intentionally decreasing the calorie intake in order to lose the body fat and also reveal the muscle that I have gained during the bulking phase. Nice work. Now it's time for alternating lunges. Step forward with one foot and lower your body until your front thigh is actually parallel to the ground. Then push back up and repeat on the other side. However, I also wanted to mention if you continue to consume excessive calorie beyond your body needs, you will start to gain body fat as well as muscle mass. This is why it's so important to balance your calories with a good exercise routine to make sure that you are gaining muscle mass without gaining too much fat. Now, for me, I have reached the desired level of muscle mass that I want, so now I'm going to transition into the cutting phase. During this cutting phase, I will be consuming fewer calories than my body needs in order to create a calorie deficiency, which is caused which is causing my body to burn the store fat of energy. This can help you lose body fat, but also reveal the muscles that you have gained through the bulking phase. Are you feeling the burn yet? <laughs> Next up, we have Romanian deadlifts. To target those hamstrings and glutes, grab a dumbbell or bar and hold it with an overhead grip, then hinge forward at the hip while keeping your back straight and your core engaged. In conclusion, bulking and cutting can be effective strategies for gaining muscle mass and losing body fat, respectfully. However, it is important to approach these phases with a balance and sustainable approach to ensure long-term success and also avoid any negative effect on your muscle mass or overall health.
great job. Now it's time for dumbbell upright row to target those shoulders. Keep your elbows high as you lift the weights up towards your chin. have any question when it comes to bulking or cutting leave your comments down below any questions and I will be more than happy to answer them All right guys, we're halfway there. It's time for another 10 minutes of rowing to really get your heart rate up and burn some serious calories. Remember to keep your form in check and push yourself to the limit. Great job! Now it's time for barbell bend over rows to target your back muscles. Hinge forward at the hips while keeping your back straight, then lift the barbell up towards your chest. You're looking good. Next up is dumbbell curls to target those biceps. Remember to keep your elbows close to your body. Now, let's talk about what happens to your muscles during these phases. When you're bulking, you are actually consuming more calories than your body needs, which actually provides your muscle with extra energies in order to grow. This is why it is important for you to gradually increase your calorie intake during bulking, rather than just eating what's right in front of you. Two more exercise and then it's time to go. But right now it's time for hip thrusters to target your glutes. Line your back with your knees bent and lift your hips up towards the ceiling while also squeezing your thighs. Last exercise, we have hip adduction. Place your arms 
And there you have it. That's our 10 minute total body workout at the gym. Don't forget to cool down with five more minutes of rowing and some stretching to prevent any injuries. Thank you for working out with me and I'll see you on my next video. Ciao.